Alright, this is the multi-block build tutorial for the large crucible. And we are going to be using the titanium hafnium carbide for this tutorial, but there are many other versions. There isn't one for every material. You have steel, stainless steel, invar, titanium, tungsten steel, tungsten, THC, and adamantium. So, for this you will need one of the large crucible main blocks and 24 uh, walls of the same material that this is made of. You'll see the recipe is just the wall with a hammer and a chisel. So you will need 25 walls to build it. One of them turned into the main block. And then it is a simple 3x3 three three structure with the main block in the center. And then this will be hollow for the other two layers here. And it will form. Your ports are these right here. This is where you will put your um, molds. It also works just fine with the crossings. So if you want to put a crossing on there and put your molds on that to give you even more output space you can do so now we actually have over here one that is already built and hooked up and i will show it to you here so this is how we automated it on the server uh, this here is thermometer set to turn it off. Now, one thing with these crucibles that I learned the hard way is that the large version has a lower max temperature than the single block. So you'll see that with the THC one here, its meltdown is 4689 where the single one is 53.28. So we're going to set this one to 46. That way it doesn't burn up on us. Now that redstone is running over here. This is our main bypass shutoff you'll see temperature is starting to rise now when it hits 4600 or greater it will automatically turn on the redstone as well so let me turn that off and i will show you then down here underneath we have three hv electric heaters that are hooked up there's a machine control switch on each one of them that the redstone is running to and that is how they are getting shut off then we have hoppers that run all the way around here the hoppers are connected to one another uh, the ones on the back here actually got removed for one reason or another um, but that would deposit all of our stuff into this chest. And then the redstone that goes around the top here is connected to this thermometer so that you can actually connect the uh, red wire down to each one of the molds and it will tell it to automatically pour if 
you need to do so if you're doing something that is mixing. If you're just doing a basic uh, metal, you can just set the max to whatever you want the max to be, where the metal melts down at. Set your molds to um, pour without redstone. For anybody that doesn't know how to do that, it is as simple as using a monkey wrench. Shift clicking your regular electric wrench will turn it into monkey wrench mode. And you hit in the center, turns it to no redstone or redstone. And hitting on the output, oops, there we go, crucible auto off and on. So that right now will make it to where it will automatically pour as soon as it is ready to go. And there we go. We are up to heat. You'll see the new feature that Greg has added to crucibles when they get within uh, 1K, 1,000K in this 1000 Kelvin, uh, they will actually glow now, but you'll see that that temperature will stay right around 4600. That is because this is turning on and off, feeding it power, and then turning off to uh, stop the power and let it go back down a bit. And then if I hit that, that'll allow it to go back down. It'll cool off. The glow will go away. And everything will be good. Now, that glow is also on the single block crucibles. So if you don't have a thermometer and you, you don't have to worry so much about not getting too close to the uh, critical point. Because it will start glowing within a thousand of... The melting temperature of the crucible. It has nothing to do with the boiling point of the material inside the crucible. Only the crucible itself. So, hope that helps everybody with the uh, large crucible here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Stop into our Discord and let us know. Link to that is also is in the description down below. And have a good day. Don't forget to hit the buttons and do the things. See you, folks.